Shannon. This is my 300 Blackout SBR. It's got a Yankee Hill Phantom uh, 30 cal can on it. Uh, the, the upper is a CMMG. It's just out of the box, like 700 bucks. Not the nicest one in the world, but it does the, the job. Got Macmill flip up sights. Um, got Mega Arms lower. I've got a Vortex 1 to 4 PST. Ergo grip. Magpul CTR stock, ADM mount, I also have an Aimpoint Pro, I switch back and forth on it. Um, as far as the ammo goes, uh, this magazine I put, uh, that, that top one's 208 grain Hornaday match, loaded the 12 grains of accurate 1680, and the next one down is a factory Remington 115 grain, I think they're Sierra Match Kings or something, something close to that. But I've got uh, 30 rounds. Every other is supersonic and every other is subsonic. Starting with sub? Starting with subsonic. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. We're going to rock and roll. You're subsonic. You're super. So you get sub. Oh, I also have the JP silent buffer in here too. So yeah, maybe I have the wrong spring. Shoot some out. You going for the uh, 500? Seven. Oh, I was just left at 700. Hot, hot, hot. A lot of those subs might have been just barely supersonic. You know what I did notice is when it, they eject, one ejects forward and one ejects back. Yeah, might have been the supers ejecting back because it had so much more more force oomph on it. Huh? You have to swap out the buffer spring for when you're shooting sub versus. I mean, no, the design of this was meant to shoot sub or super with no gun change at all. Just so what? What did you do spring wise? Because like an AR-15, a standard spring wouldn't really. It's, is it? What's What's the difference? It's actually standard spring. Um, on this one, I have the. Oh, that's hot. So I guess because it's it's got less recoil, but at the same time it's it's a heavier bullet. Is that causing it to giving it more punch yeah. to push back the same so, spring? I mean, you got 208 grain or 115 grain. But this is my JP Silent buffer. Um, I just wanted it as quiet as possible since I'm shooting it subsonic and suppress. Yeah. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's. I shot for the first time some groups um, on paper with some subsonic. And it was grouping, it was, were, the holes were touching with some subsonic. Very cool. Yeah. What do you got into that thing? As long as you don't show my wife. Uh, <laughs> Never. Um, probably about 2,500 ish, something like that. With the can and the tack stamp and the SBR tack stamp. Everything. The scope, the mount. The mount's, you know, 150, 200 bucks. That's an ADM mount? ADM out, yeah, got the quick release. Yeah, Those it's are awesome, man. really amazing because you can just take it off and put it right back on and it, it holds at zero perfectly. I, I have one of these on my AR, my 223. It's a good shout out for ADM. They sponsor our uh, Utah Shootout Precision Rifle Series. Also, this is a fail zero bolt, too. It's pretty. What's that coated with or what, what kind of? It's nickel something, I can't remember. Nice. But it's it's. Probably one of the higher rated ones that there is. So I think they run out 200 bucks. Very nice. Yeah.